Okay, so for today I'm going to do a maintenance wash on my dad's car. It's been uh, washed twice since I've had it. Uh, um, and the first wash was with the... Um, what did I use on that wash? Oh, finally a pure wash. And then I just topped it off with graphene detail spray. That was the first wash for the jade ceramic stuff. Now, for the second wash was a rinseless wash uh, with... What I use? Carpro Echo. Uh, that was the second wash. And it's been about a week since I washed it. But it's rained here, so it's a little dirty. And so for this this maintenance wash, we're gonna just go ahead and use the Jack Swax Defend graphene infused shampoo, and I'll post all the directions in there. But they recommend three to five ounces in your foam gun or cannon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour out three ounces. Got the lid on there. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so this is actually thicker than those silica infused shampoos. So that's twenty. Okay, so that's just roughly 60 mils, which is three ounces of shampoo in there. So you're gonna go through this pretty pretty often if you use this uh, more than uh, a maintenance wash. So that's a 32 ounce bottle. I know I saw that they have a 16 ounce bottle available now to purchase just get the 30 I'd probably just get the 32 ounce if you're gonna stick with this shampoo I'm gonna wash these later so I will take this straw and then I'll just mix it so we'll see with three ounces how it foams and actually have put about I put 30 ounces of water in here roughly in there so we'll see how this foams up and I'm also going to put some in the bucket and I'm going to put uh, uh, three ounces in the bucket and then I'll start playing around with dilutions and then kind of post feedback as to uh, do you need to use three out three out three to five ounces each time because that's a lot of shampoo on here or can you get by with um, you know two ounces in your bucket maybe even one ounce if you're using two to three ounces in, in your foam gun so we'll try this out see how it goes uh, you're probably not going to see a drastic change in terms of hydrophobics on my dad's car because it's got the uh, graphene coating and it's been topped off with this uh, two weeks ago so you're probably gonna see the performance of this guy more often than uh, if anything um, but with that said that's part of your maintenance thing is you're always gonna have a sacrificial layer of either some sort of topper or your maintenance shampoo and we'll see how it holds up over time I will be using this on my car as well uh, I'm gonna be doing lift on that one uh, just as my last coating thing and then we'll follow up with that and we we'll, should see if this leaves protection on the surface uh, with those um, failing coatings all right so stay tuned all right so now it's time for the foam because i just got the initial rinse on there um, i have this foam gun here at the uh, max setting here so we'll just see how it foams and just tighten this a little bit because it does get stuck on here open up the valve yeah this thing's uh, it's starting to go out on me. So, uh, so again, it's foaming pretty well on here. Uh, again, out of a foam foam gun, that's, that's probably the best foam you're gonna get. Let me go around and get the front, but it's leaving pretty decent foam. The purpose of the foam is really to add lubrication on here. It's not really going to break down a lot of the grime. Uh, so let me just go ahead and knock this one out. Okay, 
Okay, so I have a little bit left in here, which I'll save for that guy, just for the roof part. Just so I can show you what it looks like. Now let's foam it in the bucket and see if the suds die off, because that's one of the the downsides for uh, these infused uh, shampoos. Okay, so unlike the silica shampoos, this one's not, the suds aren't dying off. You can actually see it's pretty foamy. Uh, it feels like um, real thin in, in there, so I'll just mention that. But you know, we'll just go ahead and I'll show you how to do it on the roof. I mean, here. So, again, don't expect the most aggressive cleaning. From these, you can actually see I still have a little bit of uh, material left on there. So, again, don't expect these to be heavy cleaners. That's, what, that's one thing about these is they lack uh, cleaning power. But once you get it on there, it feels really slick when you go over the paint. Uh, so, let me just go ahead and finish um, going over the painted surface I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's rinsed off okay so I finished uh, you know, con the contact wash on it again you don't expect the uh, the strongest cleaner on here it's more of a maintenance wash so if the car stays pretty clean uh, you're, you're not gonna um, have issues with it um, I did good on I could see it on the lower panels here where I had a little bit of uh, grime on there so we're just gonna go ahead and rinse this off you can see it's uh, the coatings repels a lot of it off the surface so I'll show you a side panel here first so these have uh, Jade Pro on there I don't know if it's doing here so I don't know if the coating's already gone there look at that it's sheeting now so again rinse from top to bottom I'll just show you here again once you uh, go through the surface you're left with some real nice water beading I don't know if you guys can actually see this on here so again is that defend or is that uh, uh, other stuff on there so uh, you're left with some pretty good on there so if I sheet it it yeah, sheets pretty well so again this is more of a maintenance wash than anything else uh, the sides pretty strong glass you can see it's trying to um, sheet whatever's there so maybe it doesn't play well with PNS view you can see it PNS view doesn't look very good with it on top so again let me just keep playing around with it it may not be working too well on some things but again that's disappointing on the coating let me check this side I'm gonna check this side this side was beating when I rinsed it off. Same thing, and it just could be the shampoo uh, masking the properties on there. And so if I rinse this side, you can actually see it's uh, a bit better. Let me just go ahead and finish rinsing this. I haven't seen any other issues on here. I think once you kind of get through the shampoo, um, it's, it's, it does work uh, decent. It just maybe PNS View doesn't play well with it. You can see it kind of just sheets right off first. On the sides, perfectly fine. Now this glass here has got the Jade Graphene Pro. And then on the top, Again, once you rinse off all, all that soap residue, it's fine, but you can tell it's, it leaves, it, you can tell it leaves a strong residue at uh, three ounces. 
in there. And so then it starts to make your coating sheet more than the beads, but once the beads on there, you know, it looks pretty good. So again, let me just finish rinsing this off and then I'm just gonna dry it off. And we'll see what's going on with the mirrors here. Cause right now it look, looks like it's beating really well on there. Uh, but once you flood it, it looks like there's nothing there. I've had problems with this surface accepting coatings every single time. Same with the front grill and same with these uh, pieces down here. So let me just go ahead and finish rinsing this off. And I'll uh, post the final thoughts, at least initial uh, thoughts on this uh, shampoo. Okay, so I'm done. I dried off the car. I touched up some areas with uh, Adam's detail spray, the graphene detail spray. Primarily just there wasn't much water left uh, because I just came back with a, with a towel. You really don't need a drying aid with this product, but if you have to use one or you desire to use one, just could use whatever, use your favorite drying aid, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so um, in terms of lubricity, this has real nice lubricity. You can feel it on the paint, it's really slick. Uh, you know, foamed up really nice for uh, a product that's infused with um, a form of protection on there. You know, usually silica infused shampoos don't do well and I kind of just reveal my chair over here. There's still suds in the bucket here and, and I'm well done with the wash. It's been sitting here for probably about 30, 45 minutes and again, there's still suds in here. I mean, look, so unlike the silica shampoos, which the suds are done by the time you even get a quarter way around the car, this one maintains it and you can tell just because it's a little thicker viscosity than those types of shampoo so again i don't know how much protection this is leaving behind uh, we will try it on the on the grand prix over here uh, because the coatings on the roof have lost all their hydrophobics uh, from the 2020 uh, test that i'm doing on there so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it on, on this car uh, tomorrow and we'll see if jack's back beads up on the surface of those uh, coatings that have no longer uh, present on there but overall um, real easy to work with again it's not going to be your strongest shampoo so uh, again if you want uh, a real strong cleaner you know proper reset and then you can follow up with your dry aid uh, as far as using this as a maintenance wash it gets the job done so initial impressions are good slickness is good viscosity is good uh, suds are good because the you know, one thing i don't like about the silica shampoos is that once they lose their there's suds in capability. It feels like I'm just throwing water on there and it, it just doesn't, it feels feels odd. Uh, but again, it'll leave, it'll leave your surface glossy. I'm just looking at the, the front end here. And if I look down the car here, and it looks pretty darn good. And if I get up from the chair, you know, everything looks good. Now, as far as the glass, don't worry about it because I forgot I had a bead maker on top of PNS View. And uh, this product may not play well with a uh, bead maker or PNS uh, View this side. You can saw that it played better, so there may be some issues with the coating over there. I know I have uh, some high spots on there, so I was kind of scrubbing kind of hard to see if I can get them off. Uh, so I'm going to redo the glass coating on here, so don't worry about uh, a bit on uh, about the product on here. We'll re redo the glass coating. I'll show you which glass coating I'm going to use once I uh, redo it. I'll do that next weekend. But as far as the, the coated glass here with the Jade Graphene Pro, worked just fine. No issues up here i'm starting to get dew up here but again it worked just fine uh, the car's got a real nice gloss to it after using that and again if, you, if you're going to use your drying aid uh, just to come back because uh, i sheet rinse this car and then i just use the blower but if you just sheet rinse it uh, and you just come back with your drying aid perfectly fine you'll do just it'll get the job done but this car is looking real nice at, at the moment and you can see it's uh, got a um, real nice gloss to it so Again, just use this uh, as it is its intended purpose as a you know maintenance wash to maintain your, your, your coating. You can use this on ceramic coated vehicles, graphene coated vehicles, wax coated vehicles, sealant coated vehicles, you know, whatever you want. And um, again, it'll work just fine. So again, we'll try it on the Grand Prix tomorrow and we'll see if we get any protection as far as uh, beading and stuff on there. And then I can kind of report back of how, how long it lasted on there. But overall, worked just fine. Um, uh, I can really have nothing negative to say other than the amount you have to use per wash. Three to five ounces is quite a bit. Uh, that means you're going to go through a bottle real fast. So I'm going to be trying, uh, I'm going to be backing it down to like two ounces. 
in the foam gun and then two ounces in the bucket then eventually I'll work my way down to one ounce in the bucket and maybe um, an ounce in the foam gun so I just keep playing around with it until I find a happy medium and, and we'll see if uh, how long it, uh, it goes because uh, I should mention that your hardness of your water is going to play a factor in terms of the amount of foam you get on there so just kind of keep that in mind but overall initial impressions are good uh, if you guys want to look for a uh, new shampoo to try with your uh, coated vehicle, just go ahead and pick up the Jack's Wax. I'll post a link down below. I forget how much it costs. It's like $16 somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, so again, I'll post a link down below, all the information. You guys can uh, check it out. Um, other than that, I've got nothing else to say about it. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, post them down below. I'll probably get my full thoughts once I'm done using this entire bottle. I have a feeling I'm going to go through this really fast with the amount that they're recommending. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.